This is a, a short video of um, measuring the signal to noise ratio on this uh, TMC GPR90 receiver. I uh, normally just run through the bands and just listen for the uh, lowest discernible signal on each band on uh, CW and AM, and that gives me a, a sort of a general sort of semi quantitative impression of what the, um, the signal to noise ratio and the sensitivity of the receiver is. I thought I'd do it a little bit more technically this time. So I'm using um, an Agilent uh, 8935 test set. This is set up for signal to noise ratio measurements, which is on this uh, scale here. And I just picked a frequency on band 3, 4.6 megahertz around mid band on band 3. And uh, we tuned uh, to 4.6 megahertz on band 3 there. And what this uh, this does, it the, the test set outputs a signal on the selected frequency um, at the selected level. I've got this set at minus 107 dBm, which is, which is 1 microvolt into 50 ohms. Um, there is a little bit of a, an impedance mismatch. as 50 ohms output on the test set. 75 ohms input on the receiver. Actually, no, it's, uh, it's actually on the 300 ohms input on the receiver. So that mismatch will reduce the uh, sort of apparent sensitivity uh, here. Anyway, um, so what the, the tester does, it outputs a signal and it modulates the signal with the tone. And I've set the tone for 1 kilohertz, 30% modulation. So with the tone on and a reasonable audio volume is feeding the output of the receiver audio into the audio input of the test set and we measure the uh, signal to noise ratio directly so it's between 10.5 and 12 point something 12.5 so it's, it's hovering about a little bit of noise in the background there i've uh, got the signal peaked And I've got the, there's no IF filtering, no, well, it's uh, it's quite wide, it's about 8 kilohertz minus 6 dBs on the non-crystal selectivity position. Um, I have got the audio filter in to 1200 hertz, so it's around about 8 kilohertz, um, just to lower the general overall background audio noise a little bit. So, um, yeah, we're, uh, we're achieving more than spec. The spec at one microvolt on this band is uh, 10 dB signal to noise ratio and we're, uh, we're around about 12 which is pretty good for a 65 year old receiver it has been fully refurbished and aligned so there we go there's the uh, signal to noise ratio of a GPR 90 receiver I did check it on all the other bands and it's, uh, it's, it's even better on the broadcast bands um, bands 1 and 2, band 3 is about 12, and then it drops off a little bit, it's around about 10, 9 on the other bands um, as the higher frequencies, but that could be just due to higher noise levels in the shack here. I have got all the LED lights switched off, and uh, but there are one or two wall warts still running somewhere in the background, so there is a little bit of ambient noise, and um, we haven't got uh, perfect screening, just uh, RG58 uh, coax cable and I did notice a big difference putting the receiver in the cabinet um, that made a lot of difference to picking up stray RF uh, noise at the higher frequencies so there we go we have Agilent 8935 test set measuring the uh, signal to noise ratio of the GPR90 receiver